guess your thoughts on uh, losing Darnell Nurse tonight. What did you think of the whole way it played out? Um, probably uh, the same way a lot of Oilers fans did. Um, you know, obviously he's a big piece of our, our team and our back end uh, more specifically, but uh, uh, unfortunately we've been in the situation before with him in the playoffs um, and we, uh, we had a really good game. So uh, we'll, uh, I think everybody will have to step up to replace him and uh, hopefully get a W tonight. They lose their best D, sorry. You lose your top D. Uh, kind of a strange situation for a big playoff game. Well, the horses are out. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, at the end of the day, it's it's two really good teams with good depth um, that are going to go at it tonight. Um, it's a 2-2 series. It's an incredibly important game, and uh, we have to be ready to go early in this building. Has there been any talk in the dressing room about the two suspensions, the one for one, and the fairness or unfairness of that? We're uh, we're just focused on the game tonight and and uh, trying to put our best foot forward to set ourselves up for success in the series. So you've been heading out all series to carve out your space against uh, Alex Petrangelo. Him being there or not being there, what kind of opportunity does that open up for? Um, like I said, they're a really good hockey team. They have a lot of good hockey players uh, up and down their lineup, forwards and defensemen, and uh, it'll be a tough challenge against them tonight. Feels like the team that sorts itself out two games in a row. You know, is going to be a major advantage. What's the challenge? And it's been back and forth here every single game, and bringing the best game back to back games. Yeah, well, I mean, if we continue the back and forth trend, we're not going to win the series, right? Just on uh, <laughs> the way that pattern goes. So we're going to have to win two games in a row at some point here, and uh, we'd like it to be tonight. Vander, um, Brett Kulak obviously had the experience of doing this last year in the playoffs. What does that do for him, do you think, and what, how does that make you guys feel as, as a team in terms of confidence that you might have with him? Yeah, uh, a lot of our team have been playing really good. Brett's definitely one of them. Um, he's elevated his game. He's a, he's a great skater. Um, and when he gets uh, jumping up in the rush, um, you know, it makes our offense and the players on the ice uh, a lot more dangerous. So um, I'm sure he'll, he'll uh, be poised to have a big game tonight and, and step up and, and fill those, those those shoes that Darnell has. Said the other night, as playoff series goes on, the heat starts to rise. Like tempers gets rougher. I know the the score dictates how that plays out, but I mean, are you? Is this a mindset that you guys have to have for the rest of the series? It could be um, this chippy and this nasty for the rest of it. Yeah, I think we're just going to play our game. Uh, whatever comes through the course of the game comes. Uh, I think we're a team that's built to handle uh, lots of different types of scenarios and, and different styles of game, and um, we feel that we can have success uh, in any one of those. So uh, for us, our focus is to have a good start tonight, uh, to put our best foot forward, come up with a consistent effort, and, and hopefully get a win. You hockey players always talk about hitting and pounding on their defenseman being like an investment and putting the money in the bank for later in the series. When you see Petrangelo snap at the end of that game, is that uh, a return on investment in any way? Um, I think... <laughs> Mark, good question, Mark. Um, <laughs> I, I think uh, there's lots of different ways you can wear teams down. Um, physicality is certainly one of them. Um, and, you know, how somebody reacts to that uh, is, is definitely out of my control and out of our team's control. Um, but we, uh, we live with uh, what happens.